Hello everyone, today we will study about Hamlet, a very famous tragedy written by William Shakespeare. This play is an exquisite work that set up themes like love, betrayal and revenge. This play is basically centered around King Hamlet's death or best said murder. It is so famous that it still has its impression on most of the Indian schools and colleges. The Bollywood film Heather released in 2014 is based on this play. Now let us see who was William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was an English poet, playwright and an actor. He was born on 26 September 1564 in Stratford-upon-Avon. His father was a successful local businessman and his mother was a daughter of a landowner. Shakespeare is widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's preeminent dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and nicknamed the Bard of Avon. He wrote about 38 plays, 154 sonnets, two long narrative poems and a few other verses of which the authorship of some is uncertain. His plays have been translated into every major living language and are performed more often than those of other playwrights. Now let us discuss the characters Hamlet, Claudius, Gertrude, Polonius, Horatio, Ophelia, Laertes, Fortinbras, the Ghost, Rosencrantz and Grindelstern, Marcellus and Bernardo. Hamlet, the Prince of Denmark, the protagonist about 30 years old, son of Queen Gertrude and the late King Hamlet and the nephew of present King Claudius. He is melancholy, bitter and cynical, full of hatred for his uncle's scheming and disgust of his mother's sexuality. A reflective and a thoughtful young man who has studied at the University of Wittenberg. He is often confusing and hesitant, but at other times liable to rash and impulsive acts. Claudius The king of Denmark, Hamlet's uncle, the villain of the play. He is calculating, ambitious politician driven by lust for his power, but he occasionally shows signs of guilt and human feeling, like his love for Gertrude. Gertrude, the queen of Denmark, Hamlet's mother, recently married to Claudius. Gertrude loves Hamlet deeply, but she is a shallow, weak woman who seeks affection and status more than moral virtue or truth. Polonius, lord of Chamberlain at King's Palace, a conniving and egoistic old man. Laertes and Ophelia's father. Horatio, Hamlet's true and close friend who studied with him at the university at Wittenberg. Horatio is loyal and helpful to Hamlet throughout the play. After Hamlet's death, Horatio remains alive to tell Hamlet's story. Ophelia, Polonius' daughter, a beautiful young woman with whom Hamlet has been in love with. Ophelia is sweet and innocent girl who obeys her father and brother Laertes. Even in madness, she remains innocent, singing songs about flowers and finally drowsing in the river. Laertes, Polonius' son and Ophelia's brother, a young man who spends much of the play in France. Passionate and quick to action, Laertes clearly opposes for Hamlet and avenges the death of Ophelia and Polonius from him. Fortinbras, the young prince of Norway whose father, the king, was killed by Hamlet's father. He keeps attacking Denmark to avenge his father's honor, another enemy of Prince Hamlet. The Ghost The ghost of Hamlet's deceased father, who claims to have been murdered by Claudius, calls upon Hamlet to avenge him. However, it is not entirely certain whether the ghost is what, what he appears to be or whether it is something else. Hamlet doubts that the ghost might be devil sent to receive him and tempt him into murder. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, former friends of Hamlet from Wittenberg, who are summoned by Claudius and Gertrude to discover the cause of Hamlet's strange behavior. Marcellus and Bernardo, the courtiers who first sees ghost, they ran to Horatio to witness it. Now let's begin. The play opens on the ramparts of Elisenor Castle in Denmark. The old King Hamlet's father has died. The king's brother Claudius has replaced him, stealing Hamlet's rightful place on the throne. He has already married Hamlet's mother. On the other hand, Fortinbras, the king of Norway, keeps attacking Denmark to avenge his father's death from Hamlet. King Claudius celebrates his recent wedding to Gertrude in a bright castle room surrounded by courtiers. A brooding Hamlet sits outside the action. It is two months since his father's death and his widow 
has already married his brother. The ghost appeared in front of the courtiers. They ran to Horatio. He was a suspicious man. He did not believe them and went to see the ghost on his own. He now believed that this is the real ghost of the king of Denmark. Horatio, along with guards, told Hamlet about the ghost. The ghost tells Hamlet that he is his father and was murdered by Claudius who put poison in the king's napping ear. He asks Hamlet to revenge his unnatural death and also makes him promise that he won't seek revenge on his mother but let her judge by God. Hamlet suspects Ghost and waits until he confirms the truth. To confirm that, he acts being a mad person and wants all the people to believe it. Polonius then sent Laertes to France for studies. Polonius thinks that Hamlet's condition is caused by falling in love with his daughter. Claudius and Gertrude were worried about his condition. Claudius didn't even believe at first. He then calls Rosencrantz and Guildenstern and told them to find out what is actually wrong with Hamlet. Now everyone is after Hamlet. Polonius is also spying on him. Hamlet now asks a group of actors to act a play that shows similar events to the killing of King Hamlet in front of Claudius and Gertrude. He wants to confirm that the ghost story was true or not. When the murder scene came up in the play, Claudius left the theater. His guilt was confirmed. The ghost was right. Claudius now understood that Hamlet was actually acting mad. Gertrude now calls Hamlet to meet her in a room. While going, he saw Claudius alone in the room. Hamlet had the chance to kill him, but he did not kill him because Claudius was praying. He thinks that if he killed Claudius while praying, his soul will send to heaven and not in hell. Hamlet went to his mother's room. She asked him, Why are you doing this to your uncle? They fight a lot. Hamlet was very furious at his mother. She was scared and thought that what if he'll kill her? Shh, one person is hiding behind the curtain, eavesdropping them, and the person is Polonius. He accidentally yelled, Help! out of anxiety. Hamlet thought Claudius is the person behind the curtain and stabbed Polonius. To cover up Hamlet's sin, Claudius sent him along with his two friends, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, to England. He wanted Hamlet to be killed. Claudius gave the letter to Hamlet's two friends to deliver it to the king. On the other hand, Ophelia dies of grief of her father's death. When Laertes found out about his father and sister's death, he returned from France to take revenge from Hamlet. Claudius now begins to incite Laertes towards Hamlet. Some pipes attack the ship in which Hamlet was being sent. Hamlet escapes from the bandits and flees to Denmark. Laertes is now eager to kill Hamlet. When the Hamlet found out Ophelia was dead of her father's grief, Hamlet went to her funeral. Laertes caught Hamlet at the funeral. They fought with each other. Claudius organized a match between Hamlet and Laertes. Hamlet accepts the fight with Laertes. They were both holding swords. By the order of Claudius, Laertes' sword was poisoned. If Hamlet won without any wound, then they will offer him poison drink. Everything was set up by Claudius to kill Hamlet. On the other hand, Gertrude drinks the poison drink. Laertes wounded Hamlet. After some fight, the sword got exchanged. And Hamlet also wounded Laertes. As Laertes is dying, he tells Hamlet that the king is to be blamed for the poison sword and the poison in the cup. Hamlet stabs the king and forces him to drink from the cup. Fortinbras, the king of Norway, arrives with his army to conquer Denmark. Hamlet urges Horatio to tell his story. He tells that he wishes Fortinbras to make king of Denmark, then he dies. Fortinbras orders for Hamlet to be carried away like a brave soldier. The end. This play has inspired Vishal Bharadwaj to come up with Heather. The horrors of Kashmir are reflective of the tragic elements in the original source text.
However, Vishal Bharadwaj has taken certain liberties to mold the story in his own creative style to serve into cinematic and commercial requirements. Now, let us watch a short clip of the film Heather. Heather. Mera intaqam lena. Mere bhai se. Uski un dono aankhon mein goliyan daagna. Jin aankhon se usne tumhari maa par fareeb dale the. Bhoolna nahi bete. Aur hame tumhare abbu ji ka khatil hai. तुम्हारे घर पे फौज का क्रैकडाउन कोई इतफाक नहीं था फौज का मुखबिर खुर्रम था और खुर्रम की मुखबिर तुम्हारी माँ गजाला हम देखे रुदार <coughs> अगर तुम वाकई में बच गए तो मेरा एक पैगाम दे देना किस मेरे बेटे हैदर को उससे कहना कि वो मेरा इंतकाम ले मेरे भाई से उसकी उन दोनों आंखों में गोलियां दागे जिन आंखों ने उसकी मां पर फरेब डाले थे वो आंखें जो से यतीम बना गई मां उसे अल्लाह के इंसाफ के लिए छोड़ दे और अदरवाइज यूज फोर्स इवन टू दॉज ऑफ डेथ अगेंस्ट एनी वन एक्टिंग इन कॉन्ट्रोवेंशन विथ लॉ और लॉ एंड ऑर्डर बाब महदीन तीन लाख रुपया निकाह कबूल है कबूल को कैद किया जंजीरों में बंधवाया मेरे परवरदिकार हम वक्त पे आ गए वरना तू दुआ में था इसलिए नहीं मारा तुझे मार देता तो तुझे से सुअर को भी जंगल मिल जाती फिर तो सच में पागल हो गया ले चलो ले चलो इसे मारूंगा तुझे जब तू गुनाह में होगा दुआ में नहीं चल अंदर से मारना और पीठ पर मारना एक बार मिल लेना मुझसे इस बार मैं रोकूंगी नहीं तुझे कसम से एक बार मिल ले अबू जी की कबर के फूल सूखे भी नहीं थे और आपने खुर्रम के साथ घर फंसा लिया सब जानते हैं मुझे आपने और खुर्रम ने मिलकर का कत्ल किया। झूठ है ये हैदर मैं नहीं जानती थी कि खुर्रम फौज का मुखबिर है डॉक साहब की मौत नहीं चाहिए थी मैंने कभी नहीं उनके लिए मेरे दिल में जहर नहीं था आपकी जिंदगी है आपकी सजा है मुझे वालेकुम सलाम सब कुछ जानते पूछते आप मिलने गई हैदर से 
मुझसे छुप कर वैसी भेड़िया बन चुका है वो शुक्र है आज दिन का सांप नहीं बना दोनों के हाथ में बंदूक थी हैदर ने गोली ना चलाई होती तो परवेज भाई ने उसे मार दिया होता अब उसके खून के प्यासे हो गए हैं। इसका बचना बहुत Arshi 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 अगली बार पूरा गार उठना चाहिए ठीक है आप क्या कर रही हैं मेरे बेटे की जान बख्श दो वो सरेंडर कर देगा मेरी बात नहीं डाल सकता अगर सच में मुझसे मोहब्बत की है तो एक मौका दे दो मुझे बचपन में तुझे घर ऊंच भी लग जाती थी ना तुम्हें सारा गांव सर पे उठा देते थे और अब देख तू कैसे खून में नहाया है और मैं चुपचाप देख रही सरेंडर नहीं करूंगा मुझे 